is the model DV1 Plus Viscometer uh, Brookfield and this is the setup you will have uh, right now it's powered off and the setup that we have now is for the cone uh, if you have a internal system to circulate a cone but the same system can be used if, if you put a spindle on it uh, so in this case uh, there's different spindles that can go uh, the setup that we have choose for you is spindle number one we're going to be using this one uh, with a viscosity, this is your standard viscosity at 971, which is the uh, center poise. And you also get your beaker, and uh, this is to show that the viscosity box goes with this guy. So this is all your spindles. Um, your setup uh, will be uh, all uh, procedure, all submitted, all done. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be all done for you. So you have nothing much to do here. Uh, one thing you did talk about the stand, uh, the stand we made this homemade here and so you, the only thing you have to do is it's actually hold by by these things. If you turn this one uh, you'll be able to move your viscometer or to actually remove it from its stand um, and also to be able to this one to lower or to rise the uh, viscometer. Okay. Um, one thing when you before you start you gotta make sure that you see the bubble on top that's your level indicator and you have to make sure that it's uh, settled uh, one of the things is twisting like that from right to left and also if it's you can adjust your stand you got at the bottom here what you have is just these uh, these screws that you can screw in screw out for the uh, balancing the uh, viscometer Okay, let's start. Uh, I'm going to show you just to what you have to do to get it to get it to done. This viscometer can measure uh, different viscosities, but just for yours, we have calibrated for your range. So it's going to go from 1,000 to 4,000. That's your range. Okay, so the power switch is in the back. You just have to power it on. Here we go. First thing it's going to show is just the Brookfield DV1 Plus LV. LV is those spindles, so the, the spindles is LV model, so you're going to have, this is all LVs. Uh, okay, it's going to tell you what to do, remove spindle, press any key. So right now there's no spindle at the bottom, and press any key, and what it's going to do for you is just a auto zero. So it's actually turning on the bottom with no spindle, it's actually doing auto zero for you. Once the uh, auto zero is done, it's asking you to put the spindle. So we have your viscosity and you have your spindle. So we'll take spindle number one because your product has a, a very uh, low viscosity. It takes a big spindle. And uh, so this is the, we put it in like that. Okay. And we go attach it and it's actually um, clockwise that it actually screws on clockwise which is the opposite of what you normally see in any type of screws and now the only thing you have to do is to lower it so you you're gonna take the lower level and you gotta make sure that uh, your level is actually up to here uh, when you're gonna lower it your liquid is gonna be up to here that's the mark okay so we're gonna take the lowering the viscos viscometer N2 and you gotta be uh, looking at your mark this is up almost right now the way it's it sits in it's almost at the level here or when you're going to do your product you're going to be using this and you're going to fill it up to the mark well you're going to fill it up and when you put it in you're going to see the mark up here you make sure your spindle doesn't touch the bottom uh, you got to leave at least uh, probably half an inch to the bottom uh, so the spindle doesn't touch the bottom uh, right now we can do it directly in this visco uh, viscosity fluid and you, you gotta make sure everything's clean because this is gonna be it's 200 bucks like you know this uh, so you wanna make sure this is clean you can use it for a long time okay um, so here we go the only thing you have to do is uh, replace spindle you have to re do it and for your procedure you want this to be at so set spindle that's all I've done set spindle and you're going to be rising this to 1.5 so that's your procedure uh, 1.5 there we go and you say set so I've pressed set now and that's that's it 
you're done. And you let it go. And uh, the viscosity now is you get at least let the spindle turn five times. Uh, so it's 1.5 revolution per minute. So it's about five minutes. You got to let it run for five minutes so that it gives you the viscosity. And this is the range. It shows you the range. Okay. It means that it's actually now at one at 972 centipoise. The instrument is putting is putting a um, a shear on the uh, on the spindle and its range is 23 percent so it means you're, you're not in the middle range you're actually like one quarter of its strength so you're actually one quarter of its strength it can actually go way up which I set this up for you so if you do have a 2,000 or 3,000 centipoise uh, you'll be you'll be covering your range okay so right now this is the lower end of the so 976 is your answer and um, the viscosity standard is actually 971. You are allowed a deviation of 40 centipoise. So by Brookfield, uh, if you calculate your statistics, you'll see that it's uh, 40 40 percent. Your range, if you want to go see your range, you don't have to do this. But if you just want to go see your range, you say, "What's my range? What's the maximum range?" You say, "Auto zero." You hold it, and it says 4,000. So that means that you're good up to 4,000 with this viscometer. That's it. Thank you very much.